Good morning to all my awesome followers and whoever else may have joined in to watch this collab. This is the first time that Deborah Cabasa and Nita May have done this before. So please join in and give them both a lot of love. They're both newbies to this and we need to share our love with them as much as we can. Deborah has been doing YouTube a little longer than Nita May. She does all kinds of things on her channel, an awesome channel. I know you're going to love her if you don't already follow her. She comes up with so many creative things on her channel and turns things that are from her yard and her home into awesome recreations. Please go check out her channel. You're going to love. These are just a few examples of what she has on her channel. Please go and give her some love. Then we have Nita May. She is new also, but she only has about about 112 followers as we're doing this video. Please go give her a lot of love. I had a hard time finding where she was at. Her name is Nita, N-I-T-A May, M-A-Y. Please, if you can't find her, just type that in and it'll come up. That's how I had to do it. She has an awesome channel too, has a lot of different things on it. Please go give her a lot of love and show her all the love and support that you give me every day. I know you're going to love her channel and that's how we grow our channels, by working together and giving each other a lot of love. Please go over and check her out. You're going to love all the different things she has on hers and she is so sweet you I just know you're going to love listening to her and just look at that beautiful sweet smile that she has here's just a few things that are on her channel too I took thrifting hauls uh, things to do with the garden and she just done a lot of recreation of items too in these thrifting hauls I know you're going to love her now let's go see what grandma did for this coffee station or tea station as grandma did it. April showers, May flowers, and this you had to have, in this uh, collab, you had to have a bird, butterfly, and flowers. And it could be anything you wanted. It could be hot coffee, it could be tea or hot cocoa. It's too hot for hot cocoa here now and I don't drink coffee. So mine is going to be a tea station. So here is my tea station. I have a clear glass teapot to put my tea in to brew it. I have these two beautiful clear cut glass mugs. Now these can hold hot drinks or cold and they, the heat doesn't bother them at all. And I've had them about 20, 25 years so they're not new either. The butterflies I bought last summer, the napkins I got about three or four months ago at a Goodwill store, maybe it's almost five months ago, bought them right after Christmas. And then of course the challenge meant you had to have a bird. Here's my little bird. Got this bird at the 99 cent store. Now the tray everything is sitting in, I bought it last year at Ross's for $10 and no cost for that because I've had it for quite a while and I'm sure it was in a post last summer. The little uh, tray everything is setting in. I know that's been in several posts and it's no cost for it and I got that at Aldi and I've used it a lot and it works out great. And it has the handles on the side and you can just pick that up away from this bigger tray and take it any place you want. It has the little cookies, the, everything's ready to go. And then of course we have this beautiful glass that I put my uh, sweet pea flowers in. I cut in my garden this morning and I wish you could smell how heavenly they smell. Do they not look beautiful? And they match my cupcakes perfectly. So there was no cost for the flowers because I picked them out of my own garden. I shop my own garden. I shop my kitchen and got the glass and my mugs and usually um, this little thing here with everything's in uh, that's usually here all the time may not always have a big tray but the little one 
fits perfectly in this small area and there's still always room around it so that's this part right here is always setting where it's at basically now but closer to the wall so let's get going this tea right here is awesome tea if you shouldn't be having any sugar and don't want to use artificial sweetener this particular tea is sweet all by itself and has a lot of flavor I recommend it the cupcakes I made this morning the lighter color and I thought it would match my beautiful flowers and don't you agree and how I came up with that color was I had some leftover purple frosting from the other day when I made cupcakes and I had some white frosting and I mixed them together and that's how I got this beautiful light lavender frosting does it not look pretty and the white frosting came with a little sprinkles already in it and that's where the sprinkles came from and I thought it really looked better like this and if it had been on white but that's my opinion the tray the two-tier tray everything is setting on uh, I probably had that like 15 20 years it might even be older I don't know when I've got it uh, it's definitely not new and I do use it a lot and it just carefully picks up and separates so they just stack on top of each other so sometimes I have them on the table side by side and sometimes I don't and uh, I, I love them they're great and I use them multiple times so you let me know what you think about this awesome hot or cold tea uh, station. I thought it turned out pretty nice and I uh, really, I didn't spend a penny on anything. This is something I just chopped my house, chopped my yard, and that's what we should try to do as much as we can for we don't constantly have to be spending money and on this time, there's nothing to buy anyway. Thank you so much for watching this video on my tea station. Us channel is designed for adults interested in gardening, home decor, cooking, cleaning, DIY projects, and shopping hauls. If you made it to this end, kisses, kisses, love you all. Thank you for watching this video from the very first minute to the very last minute. I appreciate all the love and support you are showing my channel. I really cannot tell you how I feel when I listen to all those beautiful comments at the end of my videos. You guys are so awesome and so loving. I wanted to make sure I gave you a giant shout out for all your love. Thank you very much.